A pair of legislative committees today approved bills that would make it illegal for state doctors to prescribe puberty-blocking medications or opposite-gender hormones to minors. The measure would also ban hysterectomy, mastectomy, or castration surgeries from being performed on children. The legislation is sponsored in the House by Representative Wes Allen of Troy and in the upper chamber by Senator Shea Shelnut of Trustful. Both made it out of their respective health committees today after emotional testimony from both sides of the issue. I recognize that there are children who are struggling with gender dysphoria. It causes them to be confused about their gender identity and we should help those children with therapeutic treatment from qualified mental health professionals not allowing these children's bodies to be permanently mutilated. This bill and those talking points contain election year buzzwords like human medical experimentation, intended to alarm you into thinking that Alabama's transgender youth need protection from their physicians and their own parents. But these claims are inaccurate. The truth is our children need protection from this bill. The legislation is called the Vulnerable Child Compassion and Protection Act. And after it passed both committees today, a group of supporters called the Compassion Coalition held a State House press conference to talk up the bill. Becky Gerritsen, who also heads up the Eagle Forum of Alabama, spoke for the coalition today. 13 year old girls are getting double mastectomies, 15 year old boys are getting castrated. Young children, as young as eight and younger, are getting puberty blockers and cross-sex hormones just to change their gender. 98% of the people that go through gender dysphoria, which is a real thing, grow out of it if they are allowed to go through natural puberty. With today's committee approval in both chambers, the legislation now moves to the House and Senate floors.